it like last year. It's for my roommate. Her name was Katie. <laughs> I started out playing piano like back in third grade, so it kind of like progressed like piano, saxophone, guitar, singing like that. I always like to sing. Yeah, we had like music class back in grade school, and I was really really shy. There was like we auditioned for the solo in the like school musical, whatever. Not the musical. It was like just like a bunch of songs that we sang. Yeah, and know. there was a solo that I was like, oh, I really want that, and I tried out for it, and she's like, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, and I was like. And so I just didn't do it. I was I was really shy when I was little. I would say there's a few people that inspired me to like pick up certain instruments. Like who? Um, well Lisa Simpson for the saxophone. <laughs> she I don't know, I just really liked the saxophone. And um, piano, my parents made me do that, which I'm really like, glad they did because that got me like I don't know. Is it, it once you know piano you can easily pick up right. other instruments. It's a good starter. Yeah, yeah. So um, Lisa Simpson, uh, Avril Lavigne <laughs> was for guitar, cause she was just such like a, a bad girl, like, <laughs> I don't know. Years, definitely, she was super popular. Yeah, 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 so back in grade school she was kind of my idol. I am a huge fan of this guy on Facebook, or not Facebook, YouTube, his name is Gabe Bonduck, and he's, he's kind of like a mix of John Mayer, but like, not a jerk, <laughs> and like, I don't know, I just really like his music cause he's really... Um, like relaxed, but he's very expressive, and I don't know. I just I really really relate to his songs, so I like him. Um, like maybe three years ago, I had this guy who was doing recording for me. He would like record my songs, but he moved to Norway, so I had to figure out where I was getting my recording done. And I thought it'd just be best to get my own equipment, so that way I could like record on my own time. And so I bought some equipment like last summer or two summers ago and I didn't figure out how to use it till this summer. Uh, it's really complicated stuff. Yeah, so I recorded it in, I, live, I rented a house this summer with some girls and I recorded it in my room and yeah, so that's kind of the recording part. But as far as like getting it on iTunes, I, I went through this other website that uh, distributes to like downloading sites like iTunes. Okay. Hardest thing was because sometimes you just have a bad voice day and you can't sing, and it's hard because I'm a really like scheduled person. Like I have a lot of things going on, so if I was having a bad voice day, well, I can't sing today, and so I'd have to like reschedule it. And it's just it's very dependent like on that situation. Yeah, it just kind of depends. There's a lot of factors. I'm just gonna do what I love to do, and whatever happens happens. I don't really, I'm not going to make it, a, like, I'm not going to put myself under that pressure to, like, become a professional musician or, like, because it's just such a subjective, subjective industry. <laughs> so I just kind of, I'm just going to do it because I love it. It's true. Don't regret what happens because it's all part of you. And when the day is done, give a listen to this song. And know someday you'll find the one whose arm